I wanted to ask you, this morning, uh, Rosemary DiCarlo was sworn in as the new head of Department of, of Political Affairs. And in, in the media alert, I didn't realize that you were this closely in, in, in charge of it, but it says photo agencies only. So apparently, I guess I'm wondering, this is a change, and you've described this as photo agencies are entities whose main purpose is photo coverage. That would seem logical. I guess so. So does this mean that, for example, why, I see it as a, I, I, it seems like you'd want more coverage rather than less up there. But my question is, by that definition, it seems like wire services are not, their primary purpose is not photo coverage. So is this, can, I'm asking you. I think, okay. No, I, that's, I, think I, the, I think the question, that's why I, think the question to, I think the question was to me. Uh, yes. The, I'm trying to bring some rationale in the way photo ops are uh, organized. I think entities uh, who do photo coverage on a regular basis, whose primary uh, goal is to do photo coverage, like the photo services of the wires, uh, will be covered by it. There are other uh, photo ops where there will be comments and speaking will be open to uh, a wider a wider range. Uh, my question, you said entities, number one. So the primary purpose, you're now saying it's, that entities can have different components. It's, it's so my, is it, this directed it, at smaller media? I just would it, like to it, know. I mean, it, it's, it's kind it's, of tumbleweeds it's, it's, up there. It's, There's it, nobody there. It, it's, di it's directed at rationalizing the process as I see it. Thank you. Did you consult with anyone before I, I, you did this? Because there's people that take photographs. There are a number of photographers at the UN, I, some that double with UN Photo, as you may know. It, it's everything just a unilateral. Consulted. Yes, go ahead. Sure, I wanted to ask you. I have a follow up on, on what you said before, but I want to be sure to be able to ask you about in Cameroon. Cameroon has reported that the government has uh, told churches that it is prohibited to provide humanitarian assistance to those fleeing the Anglophone areas, whether across the border into Nigeria or generally. And I wanted to know, since the Secretary General is. Uh, Mr. Refugee, does he have any view of this, of a banning of humanitarian assistance to people fly, fleeing the Look, burning we, of their I homes? Haven't, uh, I haven't seen those particular reports, uh, but we Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we, we haven't seen... What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Um... Um, I haven't seen those particular reports, but as a matter of principle, we obviously uh, want to see whoever needs humanitarian help receiving it. And my follow-up on, on what you said is I was, uh, number one, again, I think like if, to, if you're going to change who has access to the 38th floor, you need to define photo agency. But I was told today that Malu has been charged with creating a list of individuals who are allowed to go upstairs. So I wanted Ma to know Matthew, if that's I, I, the case. Ma Ma Matthew, I Matthew, to know Matthew, what your Matthew, you're, you're, you, no, no, seriously, this, I take no, photographs I said, and publish them in a service. No, no, so no. I want to know. Ma Ma Matthew, Matthew, you're, besides me, you're probably the most self-centered people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. This is not about you. This is a decision we've taken to rationalize so the, the process. Is the list going to be made public? I'm asking you. Thank you. Are you just walking off? Yeah, that's what you're paid for, to censor the press.